Hey guys, video 12 for the Salvation Series, and I want to focus on the second point of Calvinism, the letter U for unconditional election. Now, Calvinists believe that unconditional election is that salvation, there's no con condition for being saved, hence unconditional. And basically, God chooses who he will save, and there's no condition. It's, not, it's based outside of the will of man. It is 100% the will of God who he will save. And one of their proof texts for that is in Romans chapter 8, verse 29. It says, For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate. And most Calvinists will usually stop there as their proof text. But this verse says, whom he did foreknow, based on the foreknowledge of God. See, the predestination is based on the foreknowledge of God, not his choosing. Because look what it says right after that. For whom he did foreknow, he did also predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Now, when are we conformed to the image of his son? When this corruption puts on incorruption, when this mortal puts on immortality, and he predestinated those called, those chosen, those saved people to be conformed unto the image of his son. And it was based on his foreknowledge. See, just because God knew who would be saved does not mean he rigged it or stacked the deck or made people be saved against their free will. God gave us a free will to choose Christ, and when we choose Christ, he chooses us. It says in the verse before, and we, all, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. The called is when we choose Christ, he chooses us. And based on his foreknowledge, he predestinates us that are called, that, are, that, that have been saved, to be conformed unto the image of his son, Jesus Christ that he might be the first mortal among, among many brethren. Verse 30, moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. See, it was got, it's got it forwards and backwards. So those that are conformed, uh, those that are going to be conformed to the image of his son, causes the called, and whom he called, he also justified. And whom he justified, he also glorified. See, we get glorification, we get justification, we get sanctification, uh, we get predestination. We get it all when we choose Christ. Just to prove one more time why uh, unconditional election is false, there is a condition on being saved, and I want to show it to you. It's in Romans chapter number 10. Look at verse... Um, nine, it says that if, if is a condition, if you do this, then I will do that. Well, if you don't do that, then I won't do that. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So if you do not do those things, will you be saved? The answer is no. If you believe in your heart, you will be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Verse 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And those who are saved, them he did predestinate to be conformed unto the image of his son. So you got to finish reading. A lot of Calvinists will cherry pick verses, but they don't finish reading the verse in context to show that the predestination is based on his foreknowledge, not his choosing.